This is a really popular way to do basic head proportions. And um, you'll see it, especially among concept design artists. And it works really well. It just starts with a circle and then um, you just subdivide it in half, both vertically and horizontally. And if you're doing a three quarter sort of um, drawing, you can you know, move the um, divisions accordingly. So what you want to do is measure that half circle and add one to the bottom. So you're kind of creating thirds. And then you divide the bottom two thirds in half. And that gives you a little proportional grid. So the lower quarter of the circle winds up being your eye line. And what most people do is they come to the outside first and do their outer head proportions. Um, and what you're going to do later is kind of tailor this to the specific individual that you're drawing or the character or whatever. The eyes go right in the middle there on that eye line. And you'll try to center them. The nose goes just below that and the mouth actually goes, the center of it goes above that bottom division line. And the nose goes in between the two. Um, you'll just kind of estimate where the eyebrows are and that's usually around the middle of that division. And then the bone brow ridge above the eyebrow goes at that the center of the original circle. Your ears begin from the eyes, go up a little bit, come down, and tag the bottom of the, of the nose line. And you can estimate the hairline depending on the person. The nose aligns vertically with the in, inside um, corner of the eyes. And the pupils line up with the corner of the mouth vertically. And that gives you a good head proportions. And what's cool about this method is that it's going to work uh, in pretty much any orientation of the head. Um, it might be a little more difficult if the head is tilting back or forward, but you can still use it. It um, works great in profile and three-quarter. So Here's an example of that being done in profile. So this time you're just going to extend those lines out all the way just the same. And um, I like to begin with the eye, and usually the eye will kind of intersect or interrelate somewhere where the eye line hits that um, circle. It just depends on the person and the sort of attitude you're going for with the drawing. And you can go from there, work your profile down, um, and this is just kind of generic. So I like to practice these sort of generic things and then um, the proportions will be sort of ready when I need them. Now the only real difference that you have to pay attention to is where the ear goes. It kind of goes right at that um, center line of the circle and your jaw is going to connect to the bottom of the ear and you're going to modify the heck the head and neck interaction as you see fit um, depending on whatever it is that you're drawing 